Bayesian statistics is an approach to data analysis based on Bayes' theorem, where available knowledge about parameters in the statistical model is updated with the information in observed data. The background knowledge is expressed as a prior distribution and combined with the observational data in the form of the likelihood function to determine the posterior distribution. The posterior can also be used for making prediction about the future event. In this video, we shall demonstrate Bayes' analysis using PIMC3. PIMC3 is a probabilistic programming library for Python that allows users to build Bayesian models with a simple Python API and fits them using Markov chain Monte Carlo MCMC methods. Let's look at the code now. First, we will import all the necessary libraries, including the PyMC3 as PM, the ARVs as EZ. Next, we will generate some synthetic data from the Panuni distribution with the probability of getting the heat to be 0.25 and we do for 10 trials and this is the data we generated next we can define the basis models as follows this line create a container of our model. Everything inside the weave block will be automatically added to our model. This line specify the prior. We assume the prior is a beta function with the shape parameters equal to 1. A beta distribution with such parameters is equivalent to a uniform distribution in the interval 0 to 1. The theta variable is a random variable. It is not a number, but an object representing a probability distribution from which we can compute random numbers and probability densities. This line specifies the likelihood. The syntax is almost the same as a prior, except that we pass the data using the observed argument. This is the way in which we tell Pi MC3 that we want the condition for the unknown on the known data. The last line is the inference pattern. We are asking for 1000 samples from the posterior and we will sh store them in the trace, in this case the theta hat object. Generally, the first task we will perform after sampling from the posterior is to check what the results look like. The plot trace function from the ASI is ideally suited to this task. By using the ASI plot trace, we get two subplots for each unobserved variable. On the left, we have the KDE plot and this is a smooth version of the histogram. 
on the right we get the individual sample values at each step during the sampling from the trace plot we can visibly get the possible values from the posterior another way to visually summarize the posterior is to use the plot posterior function that comes also with the RZ and we observe that the mean of the posterior distribution is 0 0.25 which is same as the probability we set for the Pannoni distribution next we will compare the result with analytical solution we can simulate the coin flipping using the Pannoni distribution and since we know the prior conjugate for the Pannoni distribution is a beta function we can plot the posterior distribution as a beta function with the shape parameters alpha and beta if we simulate the coin three times with each time 10 trials and the probability of 0 0.25 and we can see that this is the posterior after the first trial second trial and the third trial so the for the last posterior distribution the maximum is around 0 0.25 we can see that the Bayesian approach using the pi mc3 produce a posterior distribution that resembles the beta distribution this concludes the video on Bayesian analysis using pi mc3 we welcome your comments below if you like the video please share and subscribe to our channel thank you